back to the channel today i'll be continuing what if naruto had an op ice kick again kai without further ado let's get right into today's video it's in the intro but if y'all enjoy the video at any given point in time leave a like i greatly appreciate it anyway so we open this part with naruto chasing uh gara and uh yeah, we open this part with Naruto chasing Gara, and I want to say Jiraiya after a few moments, he finally gets enough and he wants to chase after Gara too. Because although they think, like they know Naruto might be able to hold his own, or you know, the Nine Tails might get released too, that's too much of a threat either way it went. Because if Naruto was able to hold his own for a little while, and then the Nine Tails got released, that just meant that they just barely bought, they just barely had enough time to defend themselves against the Nine Tails. And for all they know, the Nine Tails could have a completely different agenda from the One Tails, because the One Tails, from all we can see right now, just wants to get away. The Nine Tails could just come back and destroy the entirety of the Leaf Village. So, you know, like Jiraiya, he's like headed toward that location. But as like the closer he gets, he notices that it gets colder, and he can see the little ice, like he can see the trail of ice that Naruto left behind him chasing after Gara. So when he gets to the um when he gets to the fight, what he sees is like this giant dome of mist, and like he can actively see because Naruto's take again Kai is decent, but the one tails is fucking huge. So like all the tail beasts are, but as of this moment, he's the only one in his like all the summons and shit are, but he's the only one in it doing his actual like whole little fucking giant form anyway so yeah like you could see the like one tails in naruto's mist and shit he's just too big to see naruto beneath him and naruto's using that's his kick again guys that he could move throughout it All right so naruto is actively just trying to dig not even, yeah not even dig he's just trying to like stop the one tails from running away because he know people are supposed to be coming because he's not a fuck like he's not somebody that can just um you know, re put a seal or fix a seal. So he senses Jiraiya getting nearby, and as like he looks back to see if that's Jiraiya, he gets kicked, and he wouldn't. He gets kicked by the one tails. He gets flown back and and like put into a tree. And Jiraiya, after seeing that, he summons Gamabuta Frog, and you know he's like, "Fuck it, we finna get active, All right?" So boom, now that um Gara and Jiraiya are fighting, but as their fight continues, Naruto. You know, he incapacitated, he in his head. He finally get that little, he gets some, he gets to talk it with the nine tails and the nine tails tell him like, just let me, let me use a little bit of your, um, like, let me use a little bit of my uh, chakra. And Naruto, he, he like, he not necessarily trying to do it. Like he tell him this, he like, I don't know. They be telling me about how you always just be trying to kill some stuff. And the nine tails tell him like, I'm not, I'm not on that right now. I'm just tired of the one tails talking shit about me. Right. So he's like, either you're going to take the power or you can sit there and probably let Jiraiya die because that's most likely what's going to end up happening. Right. And Naruto thinks about it and we're going to cut back over to Jiraiya. So Jiraiya's fighting the one tails. He's doing a little toad oil shit, hair all the night, the whole nine yards. And then he gets like this really faint, like nine tails chakra. And he looks over and Naruto's basically like he's back up. But the mist, instead of surrounding the general area, is just surrounding Naruto, right? So Naruto gets up and he like he starts, blip, like he just runs directly back into the fight, and Jiraiya tries to tell him to get away, but Naruto he not trying to hear none of that. He embeds his hands inside of like um the one tail's stomach, right? Because it's a majority made out of sand. That's Gara's whole little shtick. It was being made completely out of sand at that point. So what Naruto does is, is he find he tries to um like dig his hands into the into Kakashu. I think that's his name. No, I'm gonna just call him the one tails. Never mind. Yeah. He sticks his hands inside the one tails and he activates his like his ice. And you can see all throughout the one tails body, like ice shards are just popping up out, out of every other limb, his tail, and then like a few more seconds pass and the ice itself has forced Gara out of the massive pile of sand. And like Gara is still technically speaking in the um 
in the one tail state. So he's like mad. He's pissed. He's trying to get his hand back, but he can't because half of the shit's frozen inside of Naruto's ice. So Jiraiya walks up to him and he puts a seal back on him. Like he like he puts a better seal on him so that way the one tails wouldn't be fucking with him all the time. So um yeah, Naruto helped Gara to his feet and he tell Gara like, yo, you kinda you gotta at least tell people that your tailed beast is fucking with your head. You can't run around. And as Naruto's trying to tell him this, Gara like pull, pulls away from Naruto and tell him like how the fuck like how are you finna tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? This isn't your life. You haven't lived with me. You ain't seen the shit I've seen, right? And Naruto tells him, he's like, you know, you might be right, but as a Jinchuriki, we family. So yeah, they have that whole little conversation. And by the time they get back to the like the Leaf Village, everybody like they didn't already chased the Rochimaru off. Um, but they kind of learned that Orochimaru was working or trying to work for the Akatsuki, and part of his agreement for working for the Akatsuki was to get Sasuke. Um, he doesn't necessarily know what like all of that means, but they now know that there's a group out there called the Akatsuki, and not only are they looking for the tailed beast, but they also were looking for Sharingan. So this like just with this information kind of catapults everything that's about to happen. So after Haruzen, after Haruzen goes through all the information, he's looking around at the people that are in the room. And currently it's everybody that you would expect. Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Guy, his team, all the like the teams from current. So he basically, he gets up from his chair and he basically tell him like, you know, clearly from this information on my desk, it clearly shows that there might be a war coming sometime soon. And we haven't had a war in a long time. And I don't think any, I don't think too many of y'all are ready for war, right? And as he's saying this, every, like, every other shinobi, like, looking around at each other, like, Choji looking at Naruto, Naruto looking at Sasuke, Sasuke looking at Sakura, Sakura is looking at Hinata because Hinata is still injured as fuck, although she was healed because of Neji. And Neji's just sitting in the background, humbled as fuck, <laughs> right? So... You know, he's sitting like he's telling him this and he's like, so basically after tomorrow, we're going to send y'all on a few missions. But that's like y'all last missions. Y'all going to go on some missions. And then for the rest of like next year, y'all training. That's it. I've got three missions to go on each piece. Right. And as like he dismissed everybody, he tells Naruto that like, you know, he's not going anywhere. And Nar this like kind of blows Naruto. So he was like, he looking like, what you mean? I'm not going anywhere. And he's like. Naruto, like, ha, fuck, ha, fuck. Haruzen tells him, like, you know, especially you, like, you can't go anywhere because they're looking for you. And we don't know. as They already got Orochimaru. Orochimaru is strong. Who, who, who knows what else they have or who else they have, right? So, Naruto, you thinking about it? That's a smart, that's smart. So he just was like, he, Naruto basically was like, I'm not, I'm not really going anywhere, but. I got a train, so is there a training ground I could use? And Haruzen basically tell him, like, it's his training ground right outside the, like, like, literally, it's a field right outside the Leaf Village. We could put, like, some mem like some members out there so you can train, like, some Abu members out there so you can train, but you'll be training by yourself. They just there to, like, watch you train and watch the area. And Naruto, he's not really tripping. So he looked back, and he looked at Kiba, and he's like, you trying to, you trying to go fight? And Kiba... You know, although they just finished fighting not too long ago, he down. So, like, they, like, he find Kiba. Like, yeah, they, they leave. I meant to say he went to go find Kiba and ask Kiba, not he look over at Kiba. Anyway, yeah, so they leave and they go to the training ground. And Kiba and Naruto are basically, like, just throwing moves at each other. Kiba's just literally trying to land. Not even trying to land. He's just trying to fatigue Naruto enough to the point where Naruto would be like, hold on. Let's take a break. But since um since Naruto has had so much like training, like since Naruto's been using his kick again, Kai, damn near since he was a kid, or he is he is still a kid, but since he's been using this stuff for a while, Naruto doesn't get fatigued as much. So it actually takes him like several hours. And during those hours, like one of the Ambu members and like around him, like they jump down and they're like, Okay, 
Y'all got to go back to the leaf of this. And Naruto, he shrugs his shoulders. He mad, but he shrugs his shoulders. And he start walking back into the leaf village. And Kiba, like, he he real mad. And he like, you know, we was we was still training. I know you saw that good old training session. Why are you getting in the way? Why we got to go back in there? Now, keep in mind, Kiba, although he was there for the y'all not ready for war part, he wasn't there for the Naruto said he was, he was going to listen to, you know, what they had to say. So as Kiba's like arguing, one of the humble members, like the humble member is trying to tell him like, you know, there's no time for this. Just get back inside the leaf village. And as like, there's like, as he's trying to argue, as Kiba's trying to argue with this dude, um, a, uh, a kunai comes flying out the uh, forest and like they look back and it's like a whole bunch of like just mercenaries. Like, yeah, it's just like a whole bunch of mercenaries and they got like a little, um, they got like all the same cloak on. It's just, they're not, they're not the Akatsuki. They just got the same cloak on, right? So, yeah, the hug, uh, the kunai land inside, uh, uh, Kiba's like not chest, but like his shoulder. So like he, he hit the ground. Naruto run over there and he grabbed Kiba and he pulled Kiba to the back. And the Ambu members begin to fight the, like the little bandits. Cause that's basically what they are. After Orochimaru escaped, he's, he gave a whole bunch of money to the biggest group of bandits he could find to go see. Just to make, cause he knew that he fucked up by giving them the Akatsuki by act like he dropped. Basically, he dropped the Akatsuki paper. Now that, that, that's basically it. He was in the middle of fighting Haruzen after Jiraiya had left. So now they jumped in, started shaking some rooms, and then he and he, you know, himself got shook, dropped the paper, and then ran. Not like he pulled it out of his pocket and threw it on the floor. Like he tried to turn around and dip and it failed. Anyway. So yeah, he know he fucked up. And as he's thinking this, the masked man appeared and he like so. So we just hand him, like, we just giving out information, huh? And Arachimaru tries to explain to him, like, you know, I didn't expect any of that to happen. And, and the masked man goes on to tell him, like, you know, I thought I thought you were supposed to be a skilled shinobi. Somebody that's supposed to be elite, a signing level shinobi at that, right? And the masked man, like, as he's talking to him, he tells him, like, you know, you disappointed me. And, like, he basically, like, he just berates him and tells him to do better. And then he leaves. But throughout all that time, so, like, Orochimaru was thinking in his head, like, you know, you also got a Sharingan. You might be stronger than me now. But, you know, and he looks back. And he looks, because at this point in time, y'all got to remember, the Sound 4 never came to get or do anything to Sasuke. So... That bone dude is still alive. And since, since Itachi, not Itachi, fuck, Naruto, not, yeah, since Naruto is so strong, or since Naruto has that kick again, Kai, Irochimaru had it in his head that maybe he should try to heal and or help the dude with the bone ability. Or, yeah, I don't know his name, but yeah, he think he, think he should help him with, he help him out before, you know, he died from his sickness. So he puts him in a little chamber and starts doing all the little tests. And after a few months, we doing a little time skip. After a few months, dude come up out the little, little pot. And Orochimaru got this big ass, like got this huge grin on his face, ear to ear. And he basically tells dude to just like go, go find Naruto. And this is where I'm in this part off. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like. If y'all enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.